this shirt out of a t-shirt. I started with a plain 100% cotton shirt from American Apparel and it was a size women's small. The one thing about this shirt is that it's a little more revealing and baggy but these kind of shirts look really cute if you wear like a tube bra underneath of them and I like wearing shirts like this with like um, high-waisted or baggy skirts I think it looks really cute so I hope you guys get a chance to try this out and I hope you enjoy this tutorial so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the neck out of this shirt and all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut around the seam so your shirt should look like this right now and I'm not gonna stretch the fabric just yet because it's gonna be easier to cut it when it's not kind of rolled over itself. The only thing about this tutorial that you want to be aware of is that you're going to be cutting the front and the back of the shirt separately. So just make sure you don't accidentally cut both at once or else your shirt is not going to turn out right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the sleeves off of this shirt. And I'm going to be cutting them right outside the seam. You want to make sure you're doing this on a flat surface so you get even cuts. So your shirt should look like this right now. It just kind of looks like a regular tank top. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the shirt over and I'm going to start on the I'm going to start um, at the top of my shirt on one side. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to cut a V out down to about the middle of the shirt in the back. So I'm only cutting the back layer of material and if you want to go ahead and use like a marker or something like that to ensure that it comes out evenly then you can definitely so do right that. now your shirt should look like this in the back and you just have a really deep V. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start on the other side of the top so we just cut on the inside and now we're going to start from the outside and what we're going to do is we're going to cut a diagonal line down to the same spot that we just cut. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So right now what your shirt should look like is something like this in the back. And you're going to have these two kind of like weird pieces of fabric hanging off. But just you want to make sure that the main shape is like a V. The next thing we want to do is we want to eliminate these sections of fabric that are just kind of hanging there and the way we're going to do that is we're going to cut diagonally up to meet the armpit. I'm just kind of going to flip the shirt on its side and cut a diagonal line up towards that part like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then if you need to go back and just kind of make a few alterations just to ensure that they're both even, now is the time to do that. So this is what the shirt should look like right now. And now that we've pretty much cut the shape that we want, we're going to go ahead and stretch the fabric. And this will also help make it look a lot more even if you're cuts weren't completely even. Just be kind of careful so you don't like rip the shirt or the straps or anything like that. And you can leave your shirt like this. You could cut off the bottom seam. I'm going to leave it intact. Um, or you could cut a little bit of a v-neck in the front. Whatever you choose to do. I am going to go back to the front and make it into a little bit of a v-neck however because I think it will look better. So now the front looks kind of like this. Just like a v-neck, boat neck. In the back still looks like this. Take me down.